Hello my friends, I'm back for another roundup of noteworthy free VR games and experiences. We're showcasing 8 selections today, and after this video, the next free games video will be the top 10 best for the year, which I'm pretty excited about. Let's start today's list with a game that really surprised me. Proton War was once a paid game that has recently become free. It's a fast-paced multiplayer first-person shooter. When I first fired this up, I couldn't believe there were still dedicated servers available with quite a few people playing. You can move via sliding or teleporting, but when I played on the Reverb G2, I was only able to teleport. Run around trying to kill people while picking up various power-ups and weaponry. Optionally, you can also switch to a lightsaber, which is always fun. This plays in both VR and flat screen, so it's much easier to get a game going with your friends because it's free for anyone with a PC. When hosting games, you can choose to fill in with bots as well. For some fast-paced shooting action with your pals, it's totally worth a download. Five minutes remaining. Your Hands Are Ghosts is a whimsically dark, physics-based building game. Connect the bones to create towers and reach the floating pentagrams high above you. After you connect to a pentagram, you'll summon the living into the realm of the dead. Kill them with your deadly touch to release their souls and harvest their bones so you can build higher and higher. Also, after you reach a pentagram, another set of even higher pentagrams will appear to add more to the challenge. On the itch.io page, the current record is 5 pentagrams high. I really enjoyed the comedic dark tone in this building game. Combined with the soundtrack, I felt like I was in a Tim Burton movie. Download this and enjoy losing track of time as you build beautiful bone structures while harvesting the living. It's pretty great. I am writing this under an appreciable mental strain, since by tonight I shall be no more. Dagon originally came out in September and has recently received VR support. It's an interactive narrative experience based on the cult short story by HP Lovecraft. Point and click to advance the story scene by scene and also be on the lookout for hidden trivia. Clicking on those will fill you in with historical facts and I found those pretty interesting. The voice acting is excellent and the visuals are great too so that our vessel was made a legitimate prize, whilst we of her crew were treated with all the fairness and consideration due us as naval prisoners. There's some really spooky moments, and they're well crafted with a soundtrack that builds lots of tension. For a free narrative journey, this is outstanding. Playtime is about 30 minutes. Do not think from my slavery to Morphe that I am a weakling or a degenerate. When you have read these hastily scrawled pages, you may guess though never fully realize why it is that I must have forgetfulness or death. Polycube was once a paid game that has recently become free. It's a 3D Tetris clone that's playable in either VR or flat screen, although I should mention that it doesn't work with the Reverb G2 controllers. However, a keyboard and mouse or gamepad will also do the job. You know the deal here. Fill in a whole row with shapes to clear those rows. Although since this is fully 3D, it does provide the extra strategy and challenge that comes with being able to freely rotate the pieces however you want. There's some interesting custom game settings for you to change, most notably the size of the playing grid. If you're a Tetris fan, it's a must download. Into the Metaverse theme park ride experience is a 10 minute theme park ride that takes you through the history of human information and communication. 
from hands, the art progressed to more complicated figures such as animals and symbols, some of which morphed into letters we may recognize today. I found this to be rather enjoyable and full of charm. Even though this is relatively short with many more scenes planned in the future, I liked it and found it worthwhile. At the end of the journey, you're invited to join their Discord to help build the rest of the scenes they have planned. Hopefully they can keep at it, because this is off to a great start. As literacy slowly increased, the demand for written stories grew. However, due to costs of manually written scrolls, owning a story was still out of the reach for most. Even after paper was invented in Asia some 2000 years ago in 25 AD. This is Karl Dönitz's house in Armole, Schleswig-Holstein, northwestern Germany. Nuremberg Verdict of Nations originally came out only in Russian, but it recently had a big patch which makes it available in English, so I was finally able to try it out. This is a virtual historical investigation. You travel back into World War II to search for evidence of the crimes against humanity committed by the Nazi leaders. There aren't any puzzles in here, instead you're guided step by step to certain locations and objects that are presented as evidence. After you find something, you then take notes in your journal about what you just found. There were a couple of times where an object was kind of hidden from view, but most of the time, your next objective is pretty easy to find. I have a soft spot for good historical VR experiences, especially when they make you feel like you've actually traveled back in time. And despite the abstract design of the humans themselves, I felt quite immersed in these environments because everything else besides the people looked realistic to me, including pretty good physics and optional interactables. This historical journey does not pull punches. It describes in detail many of the horrific things that these people did. So there's lots of heavy stuff in here. Some parts were tough to hear. It took me almost an hour and a half to finish it, and it's jam-packed with information from start to finish an incredibly rich historical experience. The only mode of movement is teleporting. His native language was Russian. Rosenberg was born in 1893 in Estonia, which was part of the Russian Empire at the time. The Overboard actually came out quite a while ago and it slipped under my radar, but I'm happy to feature it now. Overboard features the timeless tale of man versus shark. At first, you start with just simple harpoon guns, but as the battle progresses, both you and the sharks will gain epic upgrades. Eventually, you'll be upgraded from simple propellers, to wings, to jetpacks, and much more. Things get even more ridiculous and over the top, things that I don't want to spoil here. Once I started playing, I had trouble putting it down. It's super addictive and absolutely worth playing. There are six unlockable maps and three difficulty settings. You know, sometimes I just don't know how to describe certain VR experiences. And I find myself in that situation with Dun Dun VR. I know it sounds cliche, but this is something that's best experienced for yourself without knowing anything about it. But I do think it's fair to categorize this as an abstract dream experience. Playtime is 20 minutes, and for VR motion sickness concerns, sometimes you need to slide, and sometimes you're moved involuntarily. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. See ya!